this note. There's a few variations of a Chungam Cardis on YouTube um, and social media. None of them is actual proper Chungam Cardis, which I think originally came from, well, a few boys tied it, but the one I, I dare say is popularised, it's Kieran Jenkins, um, an angler from Wales, very good angler from Wales, and he uses it quite a lot in some of the bigger rivers down there. Top end of the Severn, the River Wye, etc. It's a really good point fly. So, although there is versions, um, like I say, this is the proper original version that you can actually buy now. Um, these can be bought through Full and Mill. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tie the fly as per the original dressing. So, there might be a few tweaks, but this is practically the original fly. So, let's go ahead and tie it. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get a, I prefer this hook, it's the original jig hook that I've been using for years, Hanak 400PL, and I've got these beads here, I'm actually in a little bag, these are 3.8 um, copper tungsten, and you're looking for that weight basically, so you can vary the bead on this thing, I'm just going to stick that in the vise. Make sure it's nice and straight. You can see all the scars for fish teeth. Ha! I did in the water yesterday. And then I've got some um, Danvall's floss thread, basically. And it's brown. And what I do is I come in behind, and I use my thumb and forefinger, and I don't move them through there. And what that does is it bulks the thread in behind the eye. Puts lots of bulk there, it just stops it moving. Like so. So I've got a whole taper there. And I'm just coming down the hook shank, creating a bed of thread. About there, I think's good. Now, you've got options here. So this is your this is all wool. Some other man-made fibers work. So this is um pure white wool, your original paper. One of my favourites in Scotland is a peach paper um, but I fish the D a lot and you get a lot of green cardist in there so I'm using this green and here's one I've already prepared to prepare it it's just a case of taking a short length like so then with a the lighter and then just get that coloured end there like that So we'll just come in, here's one prepared earlier, and give your peeper, it wants to extend, so there's the length of the body, you want to tie that in there, just at the rear of the hook, because you want a, a really visi visible area, and then what I'll do is, I'll come in with my scissors here, to make sure everything's nice and even, bed in. That will. And this is a really bright chartreuse. Ah, no, I've got this. I need to these. So this is partridge, and I'm looking for the really distinct brown feather down at the base. Something with a bit of length, like so. And what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll pull the fibres away so I'm left with this. And then what I do is I take my hackle pliers, I can just do I usually do this with my fingers, but I'll do it for the camera. Take my hackle pliers and right in the centre, grab the feather and then stroke those fibres back. Like so. Come in. Catch that in there, just at the rear. Nice and tight. You can trim this bit away now. And then all I'm going to do is bring the thread in front of the hackle, like that. And again with the hackle pliers. Keep it under tension and just pull these fibres so the head and back over the peeping area, just park that thread out of the way. 
So there'll be a few turns here. One, again stroking the fibres back on every turn. Two, use a, use a whole bit of the feather that I've got there. Three, and finally four. Come in, lock that off with your thread. A few wraps to secure before you come in with your scissors. A great point fly this. Um, we tend to fish three flies here in the UK and the bigger rivers. So this one on the point, it sort of pulls everything down and it fishes right so you're not getting snagged a lot with that jig hook. So you can see there I've got the feathers splayed. That fe the, those um, partridge feathers splayed. Now the whole point of that is supposed to represent the legs of the caddis. Um, I'm just going to put this partridge skin away because it's a bit smelly to say the least. Not been cured right. So now I'm coming in with this stuff. Now I was first given it this by the guys at um, F and F when it first came out. This so this was this was original sample stuff um, sent to me years ago. I mean years ago, um, and I think it was originally for um, making bodies for mini lures and for worm style patterns. So like. Um, San Juan worms and gummy worms and stuff like that, but Kieran's used it on this caddis and it just looks the part when you see it on the body. It's got that speckled. So I've just cut that in the whole length of the body. So I've got the, the correct taper. And then what I do, when I do a lot of my fly tying, I always like to park the thread. And then this stuff, it's got, it's like, it's kind of elasticated so you can pull it, um, pull it taut. And it's like, it's kind of like span flex woven into the core, so it's got a nice soft jelly feel. So just wind that up to create your body of the caddis. Like I say, there's a few versions of chewing gum caddis. This is the proper one with the chewing gum body, not the chewing gum peeper, um, which some people have tied. So in, and I'll lock it in on my side here. Just a couple of thread wraps, two, three, and then. I prefer, I much prefer to use a, a Stanley knife when I'm dealing with any sort of man-made fibres come in, my craft knife there and just cut that, a couple more wraps now that's the actual caddis done, that's him done and dusted but what we want to do is for a little bit added security I stick a, so I've got two whip finishing tools here, my normal one and my little one. The little one I use for varnishing, whip finish varnishing, I'll show you what I mean. So you get a build up of varnish on this thing. Try not to ruin both. So with this little one I come in and I add some varnish just to the thread there. And then with a little whip finishing tool. One, two, three, four. There it is. What do I need now? Scissors. That is the chewing gum caddis that you'll see in the full animal catalogue, popularised on social media by Kieran Jenkins, his fly, so we need to give him credit for it. A very simple fly, but you can see just why that's got to catch a lot of fish. You've got the jig hook, keeps everything off the bottom. You've got the weight, keeps everything down near the bottom. You've got that beautiful contrasting colour for the body, legs, and then a the little peeper there with the head. The chewing gum peeping cardis, proper one. Hope you enjoyed that and um, please subscribe to my channel.